Hello and welcome to this Cartoon Smart video tutorial. We are going to talk about calligraphic brushes. And I was recently informed that I was saying it wrong. It's calligraphic and I was saying calligraphic like it was terrific. But you learn something new every day. Every other day? Well, with me it's every other day. You might learn something new every day, but for me, every other day at the minimum. So let's talk about the calligraphic brushes. Now, up here in your control panel, you might see something that looks like that right there, or you might see that, all right? Now, that is going to be your brushes panel. If you don't see it in your control panel, go to the end of your control panel, click on that little thing there, and make sure that your brush is on, with a check mark next to it, all right? If you're not seeing your control panel, which is that thing right there, go to your window and go down and make sure that that is selected so you get your control panel. Right? So then you should have that available to you once you do that. Now, alternately, you can go to Window and go down to Brushes and turn on your Brushes panel. And you're going to have a set of brush definitions that you can choose from. In this video, we're going to talk a little bit about the brush, the calligraphic brush right here. So if I click on the calligraphic brush and grab my paintbrush tool, I can paint with that calligraphic stroke. All right, so you can see it's very subtle, but it's nice. I actually kind of like that one. Now there's only one there, and I think by default that's the case, unless I screwed things up earlier, trying to figure stuff out. Okay, so um, that's fine. If I double click on it, we're gonna get an options panel where we can change the angle like that. You can grab the icon by the arrow there and move the angle around. You can Oops. You can change its roundness like so. You can change its diameter right there, but I don't really want to mess with anything in here. I'm going to leave it as it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cancel out of that. And you know what? Why don't we just make a new one? All right? That sounds like fun. We can do it together. Go to the bottom of your panel here where you see the little thing, like the dog ear, I guess they call it. It's new brush. So click on that. And you're going to get an option to make a calligraphic brush, scatter, art, bristle, and pattern brush. Now, earlier I tried to say bristle brush because this is like the 60th take of this video because I've been acting silly and I've been stuttering and tripping over my tongue, all that good stuff. I was saying bristle brush, and that just wasn't acceptable to me. So take number 60. I walked around the house for a while going bristle brush, bristle brush, bristle brush. And I think I got it right. Now let's see if I mess up. Well, you might not know because I'll probably edit it out anyway, but we'll see what happens. Calligraphic brush and click OK. And when you do so, you're going to get an options panel. And it starts out perfectly round. Now that's not calligraphic at all, is it? So what you might want to do is grab one of these little black things right there and just kind of pull it down. Grab that little arrow there and change the angle. Or you can do it from here numerically. You can change your diameter like so. All right. And when you do so, you have other options. You can choose, hmm, what, do I want it to be fixed? Which means that even though I have a pressure sensitive tablet, no matter how hard I press, no matter what angle my stylus is at, it's going to remain exactly the same but I can still change the um, brush size uh, on the keyboard or up here. So let's uh, click on, let's just click OK and see what we got. All right, you can see that's a lot bigger. And if I go like that, eh. oh well, I mean, you see what, get what you get, right? So yeah, that is a new brush and now you can see it's up here in your brushes panel it says 23 uh, this one if I hover over it should say five point angled and that is I think the stroke weight is 23 what was it yeah the diameter I'm sorry the diameter is 23 points so that's what it's gonna say right under there and we can change that and we can call this one drawing is a meathead all right, so that's the name of our new brush if I hover over it. 
it's going to eventually say Brian is a meathead. All right, let's click another one. And uh, we'll stick with calligraphic brush. Click OK. And now let's mess around with some of these things. Let's maybe change my roundness to something a little more. Oh, the cats are running around the house going nuts. Oh, you probably can't hear that. It's probably too far away. That's not like a little horse is trotting around. Two male cats. Yeah. One's a uh, seven. And I think one's like ten. Wait a minute. I'm talking about cats. This is supposed to be about the calligraphic brush. That's a little bit more extreme right there. But let's go to from fixed to we can choose random, uh, pressure, stylus wheel, and all these other options that are relevant to the Wacom tablet and the uh, the pen, the stylus. But I usually just kind of stick on fixed when I'm using the calligraphic brushes. But let's play around a bit. Let's uh, click on random, all right, and make our variation. Wouldn't be very random if we didn't have a variation in there. So let's maybe something like that. All right, now there it is right there. We'll make sure it's selected. Grab your paintbrush. Ooh. Pretty. Got a lot going on here, so let's delete some of that. Yeah, that's a more extreme uh, transition from thick to thin. I kind of like that. Now this is just a font right here, where it says calligraphic brushes. I think that was type font. Yeah, brush script, standard medium. All right, I felt that was kind of appropriate for this video. All right, so we get that. And let's double click on that and let's name that one. Brian is still a meathead. Okay, so now if we hover over it, it's going to say Brian is still a meathead. I am a head of meat. All right, let's go to the new once again. Yep, calligraphic. And let's maybe change it to the angle to pressure, roundness, let's leave that fixed, otherwise we won't notice that so much. And diameter, let's make the diameter, you know what, let's not, just so you can see that one. All right, actually that's perfectly, you know, I might have forgot to, oh yeah, well, no variation. Oh, it's perfectly round too. That would help if I change that. Variation way up there. Apply the stroke, see what happens. All right. All right, I'm just making a mess, of course. But as you see, we have a lot of options in here, and more so if you do have a drawing tablet. Let's just maybe keep those fixed. Yeah, keep those fixed. And I think more than anything, I would probably just use the diameter. I like to be able to change the size of my strokes with the tablet. So I'm just going to go to pressure. And that's 9. So let's make our variation either 9. The most you can do is 9. So let's do 5. Well, the most you can do is 9 if your diameter is 9. If I were to change my diameter to 14 or something like that, I'm able to make my variation 14. That means it can either be 0 points or it can be, what, 28 points. You know, if you add 14 to 14, I do believe you get 28 at least. Now, you see how up here it's showing the differences. So that's kind of like a, a thumbnail guide as to what you're messing around with. Okay, let's go back to the brush. And now if I just press very little, it's very thin. If I press a lot, it's real thick. And so I'm just pressed a little harder right there. Brush. Okay, select everything, delete it. So now we have a selection, uh, a variety of brushes, and you can keep doing that all day. Create as many brushes as you want. So that's calligraphic brushes. Um, it only works. Uh, well, it doesn't only work with a drawing tablet, but it only works well with a drawing tablet. And as I like to say, if you don't have a drawing tablet, 
invest in one, or maybe borrow one from somebody if you know someone that has one. I highly recommend it. So that's brushes. I'll leave you to explore uh, the rest of the options on your own. And for Cartoon Smart, I'm Brian Zakowski. Thank you for watching.